Nexus is being focused. It's going down. And Fun plus Phoenix are your world champions. One of our objectives with the World Championship skins this year was to really move them into a unique space, really evolve what a World Championship skin can be. You know, for the past three years, we've leaned pretty heavily into um, a really dark fantasy sort of inspired vibe. Everything was very magical in nature, um, really leaning into fantasy as a genre. So for this year, we wanted to you know, see how far we could push it and move it into a more energized, more modern and more fun sort of space. What we really wanted to celebrate in this objective was 2019, the world's tournament was really all about the Phoenix. From the theme song to uh, FPX's, you know, their, their trajectory throughout the season, they felt like they went from this scrappy underdog team and they had this rebirth and they came out blazing like this fiery, fiery phoenix. I hope this skin is able to give you a more strong skin or a more strong skin. I can see this skin coming out and I can see this skin in a moment, I can feel scared. I want to make the skin a skin that I want to make a skin that I want to make a skin that I want to make a skin. I want to tell him that he can make a skin that I want to make a skin that I want to make. 就是 Q 啊 W 大招这些都加点，就是特效进去。We had our concept artists go three very different directions and presented those to to the team, and then they weighed in on why they liked this or didn't like that direction. And so from there, we were able to narrow down what we were thinking, and we were able to work with them continuing on that direction. 设计的挺不错，挺好看的。他给了几组模型嘛，我就让他把其中的两组结合一下。The players wanted a theme of rising from the ashes as a team to become the undying phoenix. For the visual effects, this meant not only fire, but lots of phoenix decals and motifs. We put the FBX logo into abilities where it made sense, but we also put in other more subtle hints. There's a lot of skin lines that already use fire as their primary source of power, so the challenge was to make the abilities stand out just as much as the character design did. So to make that stand out, we used very bold, graphic, animated shapes. And for the color palette, we still used red, orange, and yellow, as you might expect for a fire skin line. But we tried to avoid maroons and near-black scorch marks. So to keep everything very energetic, uh, ephemeral, and positive, and feel like a superhero, we kept everything bright, saturated, and it really helped keep it in its own space. So you'll probably notice a couple different things. One is we really wanted to kind of capture almost that retro fighting team style where they transform into these really powerful suits and they're this dynamic team that comes together and is able to fight together. We created a special spawn in ceremony to truly capture that transformation moment. We also asked them for recall ideas and got some awesome footage from the team that we were able to incorporate in all of the skins. <laughs> to find the look and the feel for this performance that LWX had originally pitched himself. Um, he had this fantastic idea of incorporating the 14 cats into the recall and also a very specific dance for Vayne at the very end. Um, one of our main concerns is always to make sure that those performance-based animations are valid for pro play in the midst of battle. It also was important for me to portray Vayne um, as this very female and agile ADC who has style and strong presence on the battlefield. As tech artists, we're always trying to catch what could be issues once we get into production. We're always trying to think ahead and catch potential red flags and make everyone aware of it. So for Vayne, the big tech technical issue that popped up or gave me a red flag right away was the four cats and the recall. So in the in our game, we have a bone count limit. And because of that limit, we have to be very careful and diligent about where we add bones, why do we need those bones, and can we get away with less to do more? So you guys are going to go around and find the way to 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 find the for Thresh, I was looking to see in what ways we could combine super, super action, exciting motion with the much more subtle playing of the piano. 
Oftentimes with these recalls, animators try to take the core original idea and embellish it in some different ways with exaggerated acting or actions to make it slightly more exciting or more interesting to see in game view. It's always a battle of sticking to the original material or really kind of changing it up so that even players that don't understand the esports references can enjoy the skin. For Gangplank, he's this ruthless, unpredictable champion. Um, throughout his lore, we see time and time again that he's someone who cannot be defeated. And this plays really well into Gim Goon's idea with the recall. And one of the things I really like about his recall idea is it's like this super meta <laughs> idea of Gangplank winning the game inside of the game. Um, but it also shows off our tendencies as players as well, right? When we were first challenged with creating a new sound profile for the FPX skins, um, and we were thinking about ways to make this different from other anime inspired and also infernal skins. So the way we went around that is by thinking about ways to make the explosions sound more futuristic and cool uh, by adding a lot of flanger effects to it. Riot Zavu, one of the sound designers here, came up with these three core sounds that we as a team agreed on being the FPX sound, um, one of them being the flangey fire sound. And the other one is the anime sword shing. shing. And the last sound is the synthy bass drop. Pew. And um, yeah, also a lot of Phoenix cries as well throughout the kit because we saw a lot of phoenixes rising from the ashes and we wanted to include that as well. Every year we try to do something different for world's winners that we think makes the most sense for the team. Some years we've done ward skins when we've thought there was a great moment to immortalize with a ward. This year we are giving each of the FPX skins an exclusive chroma. The initial design for the skin showcased a fun, brighter color palette, and we thought this was a great opportunity to offer an edgier look for each of the skins, drawing inspiration from some of the edgier concepts we showed FPX originally. Wow! So, two are both are both are both are both. so at the beginning, we did a lot of research and the creative idea basically just came from the FPX uh, stage suit. Besides colors, we also spent a lot of effort on pattern design inspired from Phoenix and different Chinese traditional ship languages to try to enhance overall FPX feeling. Thank you so much for watching.